Hi, this is Nikhil Hasija, Senior Product Manager for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. And we are talking with Andy Bybee today. We decided since it's really nice outside on a sunny Seattle day, there is no sun by the way, and it's one day where it's not raining, that'd be a great opportunity to sit outside and have a chat. So while I warm myself up, I'm gonna let Andy <laughs> just tell a little bit about what he does in the team and you know, we'll start the discussion around the developer story. Andy? Right. So my name is Andrew Bybee. I'm a lead program manager with the R&D team here. My team covers a number of areas, most of which you would run into as a developer or as a partner. So everything from how we work with SQL all the way up through the SDK and our customization tools. So cover quite a bit of uh, time with the product and uh, surface area. I've been with the team since uh, since just before we shipped V3. So it's been about six years at this point. Cool. So Andy, I think to kick it off, let's talk about you know the cloud uh, to start out. My favorite area as well. Um, and when I talk to you know developers and ISVs out there, they ask the question, is the cloud really ready for me to build my solution? <laughs> uh, short answer is yes. That's the, that's the short answer. Uh, you know, certainly we've talked a lot about the cloud. I remember giving, uh, giving some speeches at uh, PDC 2008, actually when Azure was announced. And, uh, that was something that certainly generated a lot of excitement around the developer community. So I think a lot of people want to know, hey, where is it at today? I think typically we talk about the fact that with Dynamics, and especially with the work that we're doing with online, it's really a combination of being able to take advantage of all the things that you get with your Dynamics Online subscription, but then being able to start combining that with the technologies that you're used to working with in terms of Azure, uh, and also being able to deal with things like VPods and some of the new capabilities that are coming out in the Office 14. So it's really about taking this sort of collection of stuff and being able to ask the question, can you put together some interesting scenarios and capabilities with all of that stuff at your disposal in the cloud? And I think what we're seeing a lot from partners is the answer is yes. So let's put cloud in the mix, let's put Azure in the mix. I mean, there are some very interesting patterns. What some solutions do you project are gonna be coming down the pike from our partners? You know, it's really interesting. When we talk about cloud, you know, Steve Ballmer's talked a lot about the cloud as sort of bringing new opportunities. And I think we're certainly seeing people play out with that. Um, we certainly had some partners that have really had to uh, have sort of had their eyes opened with the opportunities that come with saying, hey, the data can be resident in one place and I can now start to connect that data with a lot of different clients. Or I can now have sort of one instance of my service running that can actually serve a variety of customers, whether those customers are running uh, in online or whether those customers are running in on-premises. So it's really about sort of getting people to sort of break out of the mindset. Now that starts to lead to some really interesting things Historically, we talk about that as like mashups and things like that. I think now we're looking at this idea that you know you can really start to stitch together these services in a very dynamic way. And I think that the, the dynamic aspect of that is something that I think the partners are getting very excited about. Yes, they are indeed. Um, so let's talk about you know the extensibility aspects. I spent some time with Mahesh and uh, you know covering that, but XRM, right? Being able to build many different types of solutions. Yep. Um, and you know, then taking them to market, where the marketplace fits in. Comments about that? You've been running that team for a while now. Yeah, so the marketplace, uh, we're pretty excited about the marketplace. I would say it's, it's important to understand that it's really the, the beginning of a journey, I think, with the marketplace, but recognize that it really is about being able to reach out to a much broader set of people. Um, and I think being able to do that in a very sort of agile way. And so when you start combining XRM and the marketplace, you're really able to get a very um, dynamic behavior out of all of these because I'm now able to take solutions that historically I would have had to now implement, right, in procedural code. I mean, you know, remember when you're having to actually write lines of code to actually get things done. Yeah. Now with XRM, the whole promise of XRM is to say I can actually describe the behavior that I really want, and in the process of describing it, I can let the runtime actually take care of actually doing the implementation and doing it in a variety of ways. So whether that's projecting information down to the Outlook client, or whether that's being able to have a, a mobile experience that sort of I get for free, or whether it's being able to now have a, a more dynamic forms experience. For developers, these are all things that they spend a lot of time on, right? Security, forms, business logic, and you're now able to describe a lot of that. Now, where that starts to get the benefit then with the marketplaces is that how much does it take to get those descriptions down to all of your different customers and update those descriptions? And how much do you have to now worry about things like uh, backward compat or you know conflict issues with other applications? And so we've done a lot of work to make sure that those scenarios really hang together very well. All of that leads to sort of a better value proposition for developers and partners to say, I can invest in describing those things and have them run very easily inside of the marketplace.
marketplace and inside of my customers environments. Absolutely, and I agree. And I think when you add the whole solutions framework to it, where they can package and bundle all of their customizations and control them, even when they go to uh, the client's environment, I think that's that's phenomenally cool. I mean, my favorite feature, uh, if I were to look at uh, you know, all the array of things that are coming down the pike for yeah. CRM 2011, is um, the Azure Service Bus App Fabric integration. Did because you post that as a video too? Your favorite uh, feature? I, I don't think I've done a video on that yet, but I will. I mean, that is my favorite feature. And because, I mean, I come from an integration background and the ability to, without having to write a single line of security code yeah. and just making a call out to the enterprise, it's phenomenally cool. I agree. It's cool. It is cool. <laughs> um, so, I mean, going from the Azure App Fabric bus, you know, there are, there are different patterns on the cloud as well. Yeah. And when you look at XRM, how about things like Dallas? Uh, what are we doing there? Well, Dallas is an interesting situation because, again, I think it, it kind of comes back to the, the earlier comment about, you know, how does your behavior change when the data is now available to you on a regular basis? And so I think, you know, in that sense, Dallas really opens up a whole new category of information slicing and sort of really business intelligence in a very dynamic way. And it's it's part of that pattern shift that I think people are, are going to really have to, to internalize, I think. Um, but it's not just a question of, uh, for their own benefit, but I think it's also about being able to really give their customers sort of the maximum value. When you can start to say, hey listen, I understand how to now mash up, let's say, uh, demographic information coming from Dallas, let's say zip codes and weather information, and I can now start to look at, hey, other data that I'm collecting and storing in Dallas, like, uh, you know, location information for RFID chips that are out there on units that are out in the cloud. Now I want to be able to start putting all those things together and look at trends of why is my delivery being delayed in certain uh, postal codes based on certain weather patterns, and now what are you going to do about it, right? That's not the, that, that sort of complex analysis and manipulation of data is something that most people just haven't had the wherewithal to construct, right? And now we're at the situation where you're going to be able to start pulling those types of solutions together. It's, it's very exciting. Yes, it is. I mean, I think we started out talking about what the interesting solutions are going to be, and right now we're touching on something like supply chain management by uh, doing data acquisition from the cloud. It's phenomenally cool. Um, so, words to our developers out there. Yeah. Uh, what would you want them to say? I mean, it's easy to build solutions in CRM 2011. Even a marketing guy like me can do it. I know. So, you know, what do you want to say to them? Well, you know, I think there's there's a few things to come out. I think one of the things is to really look at the XRM application framework and really start to understand how you can benefit yourself by taking advantage of that, that model, right? It's about model-driven development. It's about being able to do declarative business logic. It's about being able to do declarative forms design, being able to deliver all that in a very dynamic way to multiple clients. I mean, there's a lot of capabilities there, a lot of plumbing, that people historically have spent man years trying to do. So take a look at the XRM application framework and really think about how that can help you get your solution out faster. Second is, is understand how the cloud is really actually starting to drive a very different dynamic into how you build solutions, how you deliver solutions, and what kinds of solutions you can actually put together, right? The, the immediacy of that, whether it's the Bing team putting things up or whether it's you as an ISV team now being able to easily integrate in with CRM Online, there's a lot of different potential that comes from that particular mix. And then third is recognize that once you've built that very sort of agile, dynamic application, you now have the delivery model with the marketplace to be able to get the word out, to get your application out to customers that want to buy it, right, that want to use it. So I think the combination of those three, the external application framework, the cloud, and the marketplace, really start to change the dynamic for developers. Absolutely, and I think uh, the client ex extensibility demo that we did on the Bing Maps mashup yeah. on CRM Online is probably one of the most requested features. I want to thank you for your time, Andy. Sounds good. And folks, um, you, know, you heard it right here. For developers, focus on looking at the XRM framework, built for the cloud, and the marketplace is ready to serve your needs. Thank you very much.